Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over making the zombies attack. Um, we'll start by making it so they knock you back when they hit you. And um, we'll do their animation blueprint and make them do damage. So, um, first thing we'll do is we'll go to our base zombie. And um, we'll go to on move finished. Now let's see how we want to do this. Okay, actually we'll do it this way. Uh, get distance. Two and uh, get player pawn for the other. For the acceptance ratings, we want this to be 150 actually. So uh, let's just test that the acceptance radiance is working. Yeah, that's, that's good distance, I guess. Okay, so uh, we'll make this a variable attack range. Okay, so if the distance is less than or equal to attack range, then we want to set um, we're going to actually put this on a sequence because if the dude wants it's um, not going to trigger, I believe. So yeah, so we'll do we'll put this on a sequence. So drag off here, sequence. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, just for the sake of having this tidy, we'll just copy this and put this over here. Okay, so now we'll set uh, in attack range, and you know what? We don't even need the branch. We'll just hold. Um, we'll just drag this over to here. So it's going to check if the distance is less than our attack range, and it's going to set it to true if it is. And you know what? We will use that branch, but uh, we'll put it off this. <clears throat> And uh, we'll do call custom event attack, and we're gonna make a new some new variables can attack and um, attack delay, which will be a float. Can attack is a bool. Attack delay will be 0.5, so our zombie can attack every 0.5 seconds. We should time this up to our animation, but we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so look at that. Look at that. So if we can attack, we're going to set can attack to false. And then we're going to do a delay off our attack delay. And then we'll set can attack to true. Okay, so attack sequence. We're going to do a new custom event melee attack and we're going to call that in between our delay and our setting of this okay so uh, do that now for melee attack what we're going to do is we're going to spawn a capsule trace um, for actors no, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do capsule trace by channel. Right? We're going to do get actor location. And then we're going to do get actor location vector plus vector. We're going to do get actor forward vector. And we're going to multiply this by a float. And it'll be by our attack range plus a bit more. So we'll do attack range times... 1.1 I guess much actually that might not be necessary, but we'll do it anyway. It's fine See how it looks in game and then we'll connect all that so that's the end. We'll set the radius to um, I don't know 50. I'm not sure how how well it'll be so we'll set this to 32 and Trace complex now. It's fine actors to ignore self so 
Oh, it already has ignore self. I forgot about that. I should know that, but I don't. Okay, so we're going to set uh, draw debug type to persistent just so we can see what these guys are doing. And uh, so if we are in attack range, we're going to call melee attack. Uh, sorry, attack. Not melee attack. So let's see if we can get our zombies attacking. And it looks like uh, they're not, so that's great. So let's see what's going wrong here. It's less than or equal to attack range. Do, 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 do. So let's do it. Let's add fifty to this because it might be it might be that it's stopping. Not in range. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, can attack wasn't set to true. I've done that every time. Or I. Okay. Now let's see. It should work now. So they're spawning these circles, as you can see, and uh, yeah, so let's make them actually do something now. We'll get rid of the draw debug type, because we don't need that anymore, um, but we will we'll drag this off here, hit actor, cast to character, and then we'll do launch character. And we'll get the normal, and we'll multiply that by, actually, multiply that by a float, multiply that by 500, and then we're going to add, we'll add 150 to the z-axis, and we'll connect this, and we'll override. So let's see what this does. A whole lot of nothing. Right. So, let's see why. We'll do a print string. Hit character. Oh, okay. So, we're doing... Uh, out hit let's see what's going wrong right so it's going off the visibility channel we want to go off the camera channel so it's actually hitting stuff so let's try that now there we go all right so uh let's make this a bit more <clears throat> And we'll make this a bit less. Get rid of that. And we're going to make their attack delay a bit more too. Make it one. Okay, and uh, we'll hit play. And I think we need to reverse the... Um, we're going to set this to negative 750. Oops. Negative 750 because it's sucking us in. We need to push it out. So let's see. There we go. Now the zombie's pushing us away. Kind of. So it's pushing us from the normal, from the center of the sphere rather than the impact normal so maybe we use the impact normal and that's what we want there we go all right so that's looking okay but we need to make them actually do an animation now so we'll go to our animation blueprint which was in the zombie folder retargeted anims over here and we're going to do off our uh, we'll control copy this cast to zombie and we're going to do 
get attack, get in attack range. And I'll promote this to a variable attacking. <clears throat> now we'll go to our uh, locomotion and idle because this is standing still and we'll do get attacking and then we'll do blend poses by bool connect this to false connect this and now we'll do reach rather than attack because I think this is a better animation for uh, attacking so now let's see what happens when we put this in so the zombies kind of reach out and they swipe at you and good stuff. And they push you around. All right. So I think that'll do for now. And uh, in the next video, we'll probably start to work on different weapons and uh, adding in the um, time between waves. All right. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.